Hi there and welcome to my next video. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm going to do a mixed media tutorial and I just wanted to show you how I recently organized the papers that I use with it because I felt like it was pretty helpful. What I did was I organized them by actual papers. So this is rice paper. This is just a basic craft paper. This is deli paper that I print on. And these are just scrapbook papers. Now this is actually a jelly print that I made on the back of scrapbook paper. But I have found that organizing my collage papers like this, I found it to be really helpful because sometimes I need a different kind of weight of paper rather than different colors. So I can always find the color I need, but not necessarily how I want the paper to look on the page that I'm making. So just wanted to pass along that tidbit before we got started. And now I'm going to go into my mixed media on this paper. This is about 200 pound paper and it's very heavy duty, which I love. I picked out a few papers from my stacks and we'll just see where it goes. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you do like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So I'm starting with my satin medium. It's my favorite thing to use to get my papers down. And it's really easy to um, just put a nice even coat on and the papers really lay flat. So I just kind of picked a bunch of papers that interested me. I like to start lately with some very monotone colored papers, just so it doesn't interfere too much with my art, but I did pick a few different colors this time just because of the shapes. And that's one of the things I always say is to really pick things that interest you because really you're making art for yourself. And then if other people like it, then that's great. But I know that I really just pick things that I like and it's a bonus that other people enjoy it too. This was one of my favorite papers I made. I put it on craft paper. It was a jelly print that um, I just love the colors. So I'm starting with Mars Black. I wanted to go big right in the beginning with some stencils and just make some marks. Usually I put a layer of paint down, but I wanted to try something different this time. So I'm using a finger dabber and just kind of using that cool stencil, different patterns and different shapes. This is a new stencil I got. It kind of reminded me of trees. Just a really interesting pattern. And I'm not really thinking too much about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of having fun using the different shapes, different colors, and just using some gray. I blended the Mars black with some titanium. Titanium white. So just putting some patterns around the paper. And then here's some aqua, some light aqua. And now I'm just getting some color down. Just kind of moving it around and using some water with it, create some drips. I really love the contrast of the aqua with the black. So one of the things you do have to be careful of and that I'm trying to be more careful of is the different papers that I put down have different kind of strengths, I would say. 
So when you're using a lot of water and a lot of paint, and if you're scraping and doing all these different things, it can kind of weaken the paper and maybe rip them. So just something to be aware of. This is a mustardy yellow that I'm using. It's called bronze yellow, but I originally wanted to use it with a little burnt umber, but I just didn't like the color. So just went straight out of the tube. It's like a yellowish brown. I like the tone of it. Just creating some drips. And moving it around with the palette knife, trying not to rip the paper. And here I wanted to add like a pop of color, but not cover up the stencil so much. So this is a jelly print that I made on jelly paper. So it creates a little illusion of translucency, but also adding some color. And then this is another jelly print, just a basic stamp, basic stencil of X's. Now I'm using my Posca marker just to start making some marks on the paper. I just really love the nature theme. So I love leaves and flowers. This is kind of a hanging vine. Just kind of having fun drawing. And then this is my friend, the owl. This is the focal point. I found this online. And it's a it's a free image. You can use it royalty free. I did print it on deli paper. So just trying to be careful not to smudge it with the medium. Because I have an inkjet printer, so it does smudge if you're not careful. I like adding a little bit of a frame sometimes to my work just to kind of give it a finite border. So I'm using a micron pen in black. And I just feel like it kind of gives it a little more of a finished look. So this is my Posca pen, coloring in the leaves and then using it to make some more marks. I did feel like the black was a little overpowering, so just trying to create a little bit less of a really checkered black background. So as you can see, things happen pretty quickly with a few stencils and some paints. Just kind of being free with it and not worrying too much about the final product. Now this is a Posca paint pen and I'm using a thin line um, marker just to create that border on the deli paper. I just really love the look of that, just kind of giving the owl a little bit of a frame. And with the deli paper, it can kind of fade into the background while also giving it a little attention. So just carefully putting down some matte medium, fluid medium, and making sure it lays down flat. And one of the things I usually do towards the end is I use my paint pens to create some marks. So just kind of going in and drawing some shapes and figures and having fun kind of doodling and drawing.
just making some leaves and just infusing that kind of nature feel throughout the piece. Some leaves and vines. I always do these doodles at the end, kind of give it a little bit of a finished feel to it. It's good to know your process of what you do to kind of complete a painting or a piece of art. Everyone has their own. And for me, it's the doodles. And then I try to add a sentiment to a lot of my pieces just to kind of give a theme. This is Seeker. I did add some pink in there off camera. I did record it. It didn't record. But I just felt like it needed a little more color. You could see all the details up close here. With our friend the owl. And then just the vines and the doodles. I really like how this came out with some fun little spots you can't see until you get up close. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Thank you so much for following along. I'm going to put two more videos right here, just like this one, mixed media tutorials. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.